What's up, G? What's up, G? What's up? Right, so guys, in this video, we will play with a uh, boss grass. And this is because currently we are doing some geospatial and um, mapping. Mapping some entire, you know, what's up, maps. And um, so those guys are using Postgres to do that. And we have to keep up. We want to also know how to use this. And like three years ago, we I have a I've joined a team where we are using Postgres, but I'm not really know I don't really know what we're doing at that time. So today uh, we will be we will and try to understand how EF and Postgres work and how to work on the Postgres database. And app uh, we're going to app app TB context here. <clears throat> okay, so we've added Postgres already. Yeah, we added Postgres. Okay, so next is um, let's try to copy what we've been doing in our trucks API here, our sample. So this Trux API is using SQL Server and we'll try to see if everything still works and just replace the SQL Server with is there an existing swashbuckle here? No. There's a SQL Server here where we want to remove or we want to comment out and use the one here the postgres okay so you copy and paste there can't see it so I'll just make this bigger because you guys are lazy lazy to study on your own and you just want to um, watch people do things. <laughs> Where's that? Okay. <clears throat> so now we have this. Uh, okay, so the example here is using. Where's that thing? Hey, where's that? Okay, so the example here is using inside the DB context. So we want to use the application setting like this one here. And application setting here. And then this is a SQL Server connection string. Uh, we want to use our um, Postgres connection string. And damn, I forget what is our password. Database is dot uh, net db dot net postgres and the host. Okay, what what is our host um, properties here? Where is our host here? These are our databases. I'm not sure if we're going to create a new database because this is going to be word one, two, three. And the username, what is the username? What is the default username? I think it's Postgres. Just Postgres. Okay, so can we try that? Um, so let's build our EF. So let's try to copy and paste what we have here in our 
in our DB context for SQL Server. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Um, okay, and remove this this thing. And we want to add our truck. And we'll try to skip this one for now. Let's skip this one. Okay, so what is it here? Uh, we, have, we have the same. Next is do this. Add, the, add our app DB context here. <clears throat> and then this one here use the the <coughs> Postgres SQL connection thing. Okay, so get connection string. Our connection string is gonna be default connection string. And then yeah, we don't know what's the host. Can we host it to twelve or zero zero that one? That's it. And yeah, I don't know, man. Um, how to check the host here? Properties. Yeah, that's helpful. Um, what is the host of my Postgres? What is the host of my Postgres DB? And we don't have an internet. Close this. How to use a Postgres in your instance. Okay, let's just copy what is written in the tutorial, I guess. So, what did he put here? My host, yeah, I don't know what's my host, damn. What is my host? Yeah, I think it's just, you can just use localhost, yeah. Yeah, I think we can just use that. But I think I also changed the IP, uh, the port. Shit. Um, file, preference. Uh, where can I see that? Help, tool, object, file, runtime. Postgres, um, where's the, where's the host here? Alright, so let's just, maybe just try this, okay? Okay, so add migration in it. Will it work? Succeeded. All right. So that is Postgres, baby, and update database. Succeeded. Done. So it says it's done. Do we have a new database now? .NET Postgres. Wow. Do we have .NET Postgres? Uh, what did we call it? .NET Postgres. Yeah, our database is .NET Postgres. We have schema here. Where is our tables in Postgres again? Damn. Right. Um, subscription, procedures, functions. Where is our trucks? Oh, there's a tables here. So there's a trucks. Nice, nice. So easy. Search objects. Okay. Oh, okay. So nice, nice, nice. So if we, <coughs> okay, let's try to add HTTP post. Um, async task i action result create 
chapter 8 here and then from buddy and then truck and then truck here this is the input model and all right so we will then use our context here so app our app db context all right so context here and CTX, CTX, and CTX that trucks that add truck, then await CTX, save changes, async, and then put here our truck, right? And in here we will await context the truck that do this to async all right all right and let's kick this off So let's say here truck one. Is it gonna save? Save truck two, truck three, and get list. We have truck one, truck two, truck three. And in our postgres refresh, search objects, search. Um how do we how do we uh, execute a SQL here? No SQL generated for the selected object. Or can we like select something like okay trucks uh, script? I know um, controls. What is controls? Controls three. Um, what's this? Import script from create restore. Um, hey, how do we select Postgres? Sell, um, select query. Where should I execute that? You mm. <clears throat> okay? Where file create table tools query tool okay? Select from select all uh, star from trucks. Uh, okay, can we execute that? Uh, where to execute this? Execute, execute. Hey, how do I execute this? Execute. Execute, no. Um. Hey, how do I execute? <coughs> how to execute Postgres queries in PG admin? And the browser go to view data. Okay, view data. 
Okay, there's a view data, all rows. All right, there it is. So public the trucks. Okay, so that's it. That is uh, the summary of Postgres. So we're ready to go. All right, cool. Bye.